Uh, good morning, everybody. It's a no shower Thursday. I hope everybody no shower, shower Thursday. Everybody no dirty. <laughs> Everybody's dirty. dirty. <laughs> yes, oh, I love no shower Thursday. You know, uh, it's so great. Ostensibly, the reason it's no shower Thursday is because we do Newsmax TV the night before. Right. And like you would think that means, oh, then we'll sleep in a little bit, whatever. I always get I the worst sleep on Wednesday nights. Uh, the worst. Too. I don't sleep in. I don't sleep in. I just kind of get up and I'm like, I'm not going to shower. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could sleep a little bit longer because you're not taking the time to shower. Well, I listen, I get up instead of 445, I get up at five. So that's 15 minutes. Usually, though, what happens is that the, between 445 and five, I have the most amazing dreams. <laughs> right. And then at five, I'm like, oh, man, I know. When, the alarm, when the alarm goes off and then you're like, what just happened? Where am I? It's like those kind of dreams, you know? It is. So it's oh, kind of so worse. I sleep right before kinda, the alarm. For right. Sure. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, lots to get to today. And we're going to get to it as soon as I share this email with you from Jessica Simon, who wrote me, I must have been on vacation in South Carolina. This is back in November. Okay. And, um, because she, well, you'll understand why I'm saying that. Here is her email. She says, on Black Friday weekend, while Mock was on vacation, she helped me. I wanted to order the air purifiers, but couldn't remember or find the brand. I sent an email, and in no time I had an answer. Huge shout out. You were on vacation, and you were not supposed to be working. She told me all the things. <laughs> The brand is Eden Pure. The style, the Oxy Leaf 2 Thunderstorm. That's what you're looking at right now. Thunderstorm. <laughs> That's what it is. Look See at how it. little and compact and cute that thing is? That freshens up an entire room. It gets rid of it all does. the stank, all the so odors, much stank. all the grossness. It it's gets a stank remover. It's a stank remover. <laughs> What it is. She said that she used code chicks three and that three, you guys, is very, very important. I had somebody else write me yesterday and say, I tried to order using code chicks and it didn't no. work. What, what's the deal for this particular air freshener? When you go to EdenPureDeals.com, you have to use the code chicks three. Three chicks, three, the number three. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the $200 off your three pack of the thunder thunderstorm air fresheners, which work amazing. So Jessica uses one. Uh, she has one going into her kitchen and she was already blown away by it. And then she also bought one for her daughter who has allergies. So she's oh, very excited yeah. to the benefits of that because it yeah. clears out all of those allergies. That's right. It's, it clears out all the, the stank and the allergen stuff. Yeah. yeah. It, it clears out mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So mm -hmm. in any case, Jessica, you're welcome for working on vacation. I will always try to answer emails when I know that you're trying to support our sponsors because that means the world to us. Just so, remember, yeah, just deals.com. Chicks, chicks three. three. The way to remember it is just think you're the third chick. You are the third chick. Chicks three. Okay. I like that. I like All that right. is how to remember yeah. that. That's exactly right. It's a good right. way to remember it. Uh -huh. By the way, I have the worst tasting coffee today. Uh, I it. That'll I ruin your whole day. Try <laughs> <laughs> I do have Valentine's stuff on. In case there was any doubt, I do have my Valentine's stuff. Uh, well, I've got coffee. my love for Texas. And you're got, you're in your black. <laughs> Loving it. And then my, it's navy blue. Okay. Oh, okay. It looks a little black okay. on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> with my black um, heart. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, speaking of how she, remember in that email where she was just like, all the things. So it's so funny that she wrote that because remember that comes from an Ashley Judd clip when yes, she inexplicably, she was like, oh, the time. Yeah, uh -huh. um, and I had it, I had it ready to go just for no reason other than that I remembered about it yesterday and I had it and I wanted to load it and just like surprise you with it. Like just pull it out and like hit you with it. You know what, you know what our uh, streaming platform told me when I tried to upload it, it what? said it's too short. It's too short of a clip to share. Oh my God. Really? That's weird. Like apparently you have to have it be at least three seconds for it to load onto this platform. And it was only two seconds. Wow, somebody no, needs to tell somebody needs to tell Ashley Judd that. She's an utter failure in every way. <laughs> She's failed. Um, you guys, so much to get to, but before we get to anything else, 
You need to be ready today. Just keep your eyes peeled because we are going to be sharing the link as soon as oh it's my ready God. Oh my God. to the extra special, extra deep dive episode podcast that we did with Brandon Strock yesterday. From A lot, it was the longest, longest deep dive we've ever done. It was, um, it was riveting, you guys. Absolutely oh, yeah. riveting. I, I cried in it. So I've never cried in anything that we've ever, I don't think I've ever cried in anything we've ever done. Have I? I? Like you cried. Have I? I mean, yeah, I you cried on your last day. Remember, we both cried on your last day. Okay, well, that was, cried. I did. I did totally. But in like a podcast, I don't think anybody's ever, but I mean, I was riveted by his, his experience. So yeah, there was one part in it where I was just like, okay, this is a little bit. Yeah. He and she was, did the thing where she was just yeah, like, this, was like I, I, I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I couldn't look at her because I sympathy cry all the time. And so I was yeah, just like, I'm going to yeah. stare at Brandon, stare at Brandon. But he was making me get all welled too. It was yeah, so, he's, oh it God. was a, it was really, really, a, I mean, probably it was just a great podcast. So, I mean, we highly encourage you and what he, the, his experience needs to be heard. Um, especially by conservatives. I mean, I think every conservatives need to hear what he, what he went through. Mm -hmm. So I, it's just, and I think the way the stuff that we asked him goes a little bit, I, I, I would dare to say deeper than what he told Levin because it was just, cause oh, we're friends really, with, way yeah, cause we're friends with him. And so we asked him a lot of, a lot more personal stuff and he told us, you know, so it was just a little bit more detailed and, you know, just like how he felt, what he went through, what happened when they, arrested him, stuff like that. So it's just, I would highly encourage you to listen to it and watch it. So um, y'all got to yeah. check that out. But here's the deal, you guys, we are not uh, going to be uploading the video onto Facebook or YouTube because right. we are on thin ice with both of those right. platforms. Mm -hmm. So we will be posting it on Rumble and on Locals and we'll share the link to those um, like on Twitter and Getter and Parler and those kinds of places. But mm -hmm. probably not gonna do that on uh, Facebook or YouTube just because they're so squirrely. And he right now is so looked at as some pariah. Like I even joked with him on, when I was telling him that we weren't gonna post it on YouTube, I was joking with him on chat yesterday and I was like, I'm probably gonna have to use pig Latin to say your name. I'm gonna have to say and in, and in Bray Oxtre because yeah. <laughs> these platforms are so freaking psycho. Yeah, so, and, the, and the way that they categorize him now is so psycho. I mean, yeah. it's, and that's one of the reasons you guys have to watch it. I mean, the way that they look at him, the way that he's treated, the way that a lot of the people from that day are treated is mm -hmm. a little psycho. So it, we, you, we are trading lightly, but th like, we got to tell you, we, and we talk about it in the podcast, uh, there are a lot of people who wouldn't, wouldn't even touch talking to him. Yeah. But, but one of the things that, you know, we said to him, we're, we're listen, dude, we're friends with you. We are not going to not talk to you. <laughs> that's not how we roll. So we're talking to him, but we're just putting on, we're putting it on certain platforms because really, frankly, I don't, we just, we want to make sure that it's heard. We don't want to get shut down. So, um, so that's why we're doing it. That's why we're putting yeah. it in the places that we're putting it. So be yeah. on the lookout. We will be, uh, ho I think it'll be around lunchtime. Sometime around lunchtime is what our producer is telling us in terms of when it'll be ready right. to post. Um, so as soon as it is, we will get that uploaded onto Rumble and then we'll share the link in, um, in as many places as we can. Um, <clears throat> so in any case, you will not want to miss it. It was riveting. Oh my God. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so good. Um, Okay, and one of the things that I wanted to, one of the videos that I wanted to share with everybody today is from Nancy Pelosi. By the way, we're on, we were on Grant Stinchfield last night talking about Pelosi and the whole congressional stock trading hullabaloo, because now it's looking like she's starting to get swayed into maybe stopping Congress from being able to do insider stock trading. But this video is about uh, January 6th. And it's about people talking about January 6th and just her attitude towards January 6th. And it's just so ridiculous. And I thought in light of the fact that we just mentioned and in Bray Oxtre, we could play Nancy Pelosi talking about this and just being a psycho. Ready? Mm hmm. That'd be good if you I can't, hear it. seem I can't to be hear. having a little okay, contest yep. with themselves to see how low they can go. They seem to have <sighs> reached rock bottom with their statement that what happened on January 6th was normal political discourse. Legitimate 
legitimate political discourse. I've also said that Republican Party, which country needs a strong Republican Party. It made great contributions to our country. I say this to Republicans all the time. Take back your party from this cult. Take back your party. America needs a strong Republican Party and a strong Democratic Party. But it has been hijacked, and it's disturbing that see, to see that the Republican leader of the House ran, actually literally refused to condemn that resolution of legitimate political discourse. He literally ran away from the press when he was asked to. All right. I mean, that's enough. It's, re it's, it's, it's remarkable. It's re it's re yeah, it's remarkable, isn't it? How the, it's, it's just truly remarkable how she'll get up on a stage and she'll say that kind of stuff and, and demonize like an entire party over a select few who were at the Capitol that day. Um, but I mean, they're going to do that. They're going to do that because they're failing so miserably that they're going to try to paint an, an, us an entire party um, with the select few. She can totally bugger off when it comes to that <laughs> because because we know, right? We know what's happening. I mean, people are smart enough to see what's happening in this. Country. They're failing miserably. They are literally, they, they are total losers, these people. They can't do anything right. Everything that they touch turns to crap, which is what we've seen over the past year. And they're just, they're flailing, they're grasping, which is what's happening. And she knows it. She knows it. She knows that Joe Biden is a complete and utter failure. She knows it. Well, and it's interesting because they need to maybe just clean up their own house before she starts yeah. lecturing Republicans. Cori Bush yesterday was trending because Cori Bush has decided to double down on the defund the police effort, even oh though God. members of her own party who are like struggling in the midterms um, in the polling, they're telling her, can you please not say that? Like, can you just ixnay on the, the police thing? Because that is hurting us. And she's like, no, we need to defund the police. She's still, she's still going with that narrative, even though it is so damaging and has but, caused literally lives. It's caused but wasn't, lives. And wasn't she the victim of a violent crime? I, I, am I, well, she am wasn't I in the car that? when it was carjacked. <laughs> So I mean, this, but isn't that, isn't that security? Is, but isn't that remarkable to you? Like that she actually, okay, fine. She wasn't there. It didn't actually affect her actual body, but she's, that happened to her. I mean, and, she and doesn't even care just, because she has protection. She oh doesn't my God. care. That is, that is just the most asinine thing. Like it actually, it's, it's almost, like, to me, that's like, okay, karma's going, listen, lady. <laughs> you gotta pay you gotta pay attention to the fact that crimes are up. I mean, this is happening. You can't be defunding the police is a really bad idea. We're gonna go ahead and show you how bad of an idea it is. And she's like, mm, well, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay. Can, I mean, it's just, it's it's just crazy how how she's just ignoring this. She's just ignoring the crime problem in this country. Wow, she's doubling down, doubling down. Crazy. And this is again, it's going against a, a good part of her own party. But yeah. the, the squad and the most radical among the leftists, they keep pulling the whole party closer to their extreme side. And that is the problem. So when Nancy Pelosi says Republicans need to, you know, get out of their cult, uh, you might want to check a mirror, you psycho, because you even got Joe Biden, who Meghan McCain was duped into believing was a moderate. You got him to be so on the left that it's like ridiculous. So yeah. mind your own house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's like, did you see that guy yesterday who during, I think it was during the riots, he set a business on fire, killed a man. And got 10 years and people on the right are outraged by it. And of course, they're going to call him. They're going to call all those people on the right a racist because it happens to be a, a gentleman with brown skin. So, I mean, this who did it, right? I mean, because it was during because I think he was a BLM support. He was the guy. I mean, he was he was like raging in the streets and did this. And I mean, a poor person lost their life in this wow. in this horrible. This is the thing. 10 years. He gets 10 years. I mean, my God, there are people with drug offenses who get way longer sentences. I mean, it's just, it's so completely unfair. So yeah. unfair. And so they're outraged about it. Everybody should be outraged about that. That's the kind of stuff where you're just shaking your head going, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem fair. So our judicial system is completely borked, you guys, as you would say. 
Oh, it's borked. Yeah. It is borked. Yeah. Um, I have another email. To send you. <clears throat> By the way, if you are on the Nutrisystem journey, with the us, journey, the journey, <laughs> we need a progress report. You guys, let us know how you're doing. Of course, my way day is Sunday, which is the dumbest way day ever. Um, you but, should do Friday. I, mean, you sh I should yeah, do. Should I should do Friday. Yeah. But I mean, you know, I'm liking all the food. That was my biggest fear is, is the food going to be good? I really like it. And so that to me is the best part is that now I don't have to think about what am I going to eat? I just know I have choices you know what else? in my freezer or whatever. You know what else I'm like digging? It. I'm digging the chicken sandwiches and the little hamburgers oh, yeah. that they have for I lunch. Know. I really you, did. You those. wouldn't think that they would be good, but they are so good. They're so good because I don't like have I don't like having to cook or make anything. And so they have like for lunch they have these great great size little classic hamburgers and chicken sandwiches, and I just pop them in the microwave for a minute. They're done. It's like the easiest thing because we're so busy during the day. Those are great. I mean, they're really great. So their lunches and their dinners are like the bomb for me because mm -hmm. I just hate cooking. You guys, I just hate oh my it. gosh. I, yeah. th I, I'm really loving all the food. So we got an email. This was on the 1st of February from Melanie Whitehead who said, okay, chicks, am I obsessed with you two or what? I have ordered GenuCell, Patriot Supply, Acre Gold, tons of things from my pillow. And now, yep. I am on board for Nutrisystem just ordered today. Unlike you two, I have 40 pounds to lose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hoping Nutrisystem will be the key. My husband is on board and says he can find food for the next few months while I try out Nutrisystem's food. You both say it's great, so I'm counting on you guys to help me with this awful weight I've gained. I'm ready and determined. As always, love my chicks. You are the part of my day that makes me smile and laugh. You are both soulful and fun and funny. Thanks oh, for Oh, that's so me. nice. What a sweet Melanie compliment. From Michigan. I know, so right? Sweet, soulful Melanie. It's very soulful. Fun. So sweet. I love that. Anyway, yeah. I'm very excited to hear how her <coughs> journey on the Nutrisystem thing goes. Very, very excited indeed. So you guys, if you want to jump in, it's like no time like the present. It's not too late. Uh, just go to Nutrisystem.com slash chicks. You get 50% off it's any of the plans that you sign up for. Any of them. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. Uh, I have another. This is just a video that's like apropos of nothing except for the fact that CNN is still obsessed with Joe Rogan. OK, so Allison Camera, this is a very quick video. I'm surprised that it was allowed onto this platform because it's so short. But Allison Camerata, you guys, um, apparently she has really been, you know, mulling over this ringing this her hand thing. <laughs> what am I going to do? Doing the hand ringing. I'm going to do Joe Rogan. Okay. And here is where she has landed. Well, I admit I'm out of ideas for what to do about Joe Rogan. I'm, I'm officially out of ideas. She's out of ideas, you guys. Allison Camerata is out of ideas. <laughs> for what, who Are has people suggestions? looking to her for a solution? <laughs> who has suggestions? Raise their hand. I've got one. <laughs> and it, invo it involves a curse word and doing and with the word off after it. I mean, it's lady. Oh nobody God. cares. Nobody cares what you think, especially Joe Rogan. You think Joe Rogan's like? I wonder. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do these shrooms over here, okay? And let me go get these shrooms. I'm gonna do them. However, it is that you do shrooms. I'm gonna go and get high on these shrooms, and then I'm gonna wonder what Allison Camerata thinks about my my hundred million dollar podcast. Okay. All right, Allison. <laughs> Nobody cares. God. Michelle, Michelle Hamilton. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you super sticker? <laughs> serious? <laughs> she did not do that. She did. She does. Oh she just did and does. Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. My God. Oh my gosh. By the way, speaking of Joe Rogan, uh, he has officially said no to the Rumble offer of a hundred million dollars in four years. But I would he didn't like completely slam the door. He said no because Spotify, and this is his word, not mine, inexplicably is sticking with him. He was like, Spotify inexplicably is sticking with me. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing this. But I mean, huh. to me, that wasn't like a door slam. That was a, if Spotify keeps deleting my shit, I'm moving over. Yeah, you know okay, I mean? that's, it's interesting wording. Yeah, because it's kind of like, well, I mean, this guy is okay for now. 
you know, until I get sick of him. And then I may, you look pretty good though. You know, you look pretty good. I like the way you dress. I like the way you yeah, walk. He's winking in. He's doing a little Yeah, uh -huh. I think I, <laughs> I'm going to keep my eye on you, Rumble. I'm going to keep my, you look good. You look good, Rumble. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know. There's a part of me that if I were him, I would have, so many people are like, he should have gone, he should have gone. I personally, I mean, I don't know. I'm a conservative. So I would have been like, I'm going to Rumble because, because they're they're all about the free speech. They wouldn't have, they wouldn't have censored anything. Mm -hmm. They would have been like, you say all the things, do all the things, talk to who you want. We won't care. We don't care about your content. You just go. You you do you, man. And that's yep. that's how. I mean, I'm all about that. I mean, I think you. Yeah, are and too. if you we think about it, it's a huge pay raise because the rumor is that he got a hundred million dollars for five years with Spotify. Rumble is saying we'll give you a hundred million for four. Oh my goodness. So I mean, <sighs> yeah, 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 I would totally, I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's I such mean, a, I'm yeah. Kidding. That's, that's yeah. A lot God, of right why there. doesn't Rumble call us? <laughs> <laughs> I know it is a big mystery. I, I mean, know, we do really have a is. nice little following, but it's not Joe I know. following. <laughs> right? I mean, listen, I'm not above doing shrooms. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding, you guys. I would never do sure. You guys, don't you feel like it's time to listen to something from Governor <laughs> DeSantis? I mean, don't yes. I kind of feel like yes. it's time. I loved mm -hmm. this particular video because, once again, he says the things in exactly the way that I love for him to say the things. You know what I mean? He just says things. You know what it's, I mean? Well, he you're just like, well, do all the politician speak. You're a little well. I mean, you're a little clouded with all the love and the infatuation and whatnot. But I see what we see what you're saying. We see what you're laying down here. We do. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh -huh. Um. Anyway, he does that in this video. Listen. <laughs> I'd also just like to say you. Know, you now hear a lot of uh, chatter in other states, you know, around the country about oh, we're going to lift mass mandates on these little children as if somehow they've just had an epiphany or even some suggest the science has changed. And let right. me just tell you, the science has not changed one iota. Uh, we knew from the beginning, and that's why Florida never imposed a mass for force masking policy on school children. And that's why we fought to liberate the kids uh, from the force masking uh, that was done on the local level, uh, because there was never a justification for it. You know, if you look at what CDC and Biden's administration did, they are outliers in the rest of the world. You look at all the other industrialized countries, not one country was as absolutely insane about force masking kids as the United States government was. And I'm proud to say in Florida, you know, we stood up to the Biden administration. We stood with the parents. Uh, and we stood with the well-being of the kids. And I can tell you, these kids are so much happier being able to go to school without having to wear masks for eight hours a day. So when you start to see them kind of reevaluate or say all this, just understand this. The science didn't change. Well, the medical science didn't change. The political science changed. They yep, that that's a is right. Isn't oh that my perfect God, he's way he said that? Yes. The science didn't change. It. The political science changed. He's so completely right. Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. I can't imagine, I, like every once in a while, we'll talk about the whole masking thing, my daughter and I. And um, and I'll be like, you know, there are still kids in this country that are masked. Like there are still kids in this country who have to wear a mask to school every day. And I just, it's my so weird. Does. My kid has to. He's in a school that has to. Because oh our freaking Republican governor will not put a stop to it. I can't. And, and how does he deal with that? Is that is that just like he doesn't actually I mean, do it? Like he just keeps it like he kind of wears it down. Like, no one actually, God. no one at his school actually gives half a crap. And so they're all wearing them wrong, or they're just pulling them down below their lips. Anyway. So it's theater. It's, all it's just theater. Yes, of it's course. just theater. So it's just useless. So they're all just wearing them on their chins. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything to begin with. But they're all wearing them. Even mm -hmm. it's even more worthless the way that they're wearing them. What? Yeah. This is just the dumbest freaking thing. They should do what those boys in uh, Washington did. 
you know, how that, that movement that those, those boys, those teenage boys, they started kind of a movement across the country. I can't remember the kid's name, but it, I mean, he was all over Fox and everything, but they, they kind of started a movement. They were like, you know what, we're just not going to do this anymore because this is, this is just ridiculous. And I can't mm-hmm. believe in Indiana that kids are being forced to wear masks in a, in a so state. Dumb. Yeah. In a state where the governor is a Republican, where you know that he's not. God, what a wuss. You guys, and we say that with massive disappointment because we were in his wedding. Okay. Yeah. So like this exactly. is exactly it, it Mop was is Mop was the maid of Mop was the maid of honor, y'all. <laughs> Hello. What is even happening, right? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's true. And so it's just it's just a shame. You know what I mean? It's just mm-hmm. a shame to it see that shame. happen. It's just been it's such a, total- a disappointment. It's not right. It's yeah. not right. Did you hear mm-hmm. what's going on with the Dave Chappelle stuff? No. Tell <gasps> me. Oh, my gosh. So he showed up to like a city county uh, building or um, meeting yesterday in his little town in Ohio. He lives in like some podunk town in Ohio. He lives in and Ohio? Yeah. He lives in I like had a no bitty, idea. bitty town in Ohio. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. I had no idea that was well, the case. All right. They and and he and his company, I should say, is planning on and has invested tons of money in this little area to develop okay. it and to do things and to build it up. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, she says her son received attention for getting up from the lunch table and walking to the trash can without a mask. Oh my god! Oh so my dumb. god! This so is dumb. like so. Oh my god. Anyway, so Dave Chappelle, um, what was happening in this town is that they were they were mulling over the potential of building low income housing in a particular area of this town. Thank you, Kimberly. And so Dave Chappelle was adamantly opposed to this because, of course, it devalues his area, other property areas. He's all for this development that was originally proposed of like homes that are $300,000 and up, but he is okay. not in favor of this housing division that would have much lower income housing. And so he went to, and there's video of it all over the internet. He went to this, this city county meeting and just went straight up to the mic. And he was just like, I'm not bullshitting. I will take my $50 million out of this freaking town. If you do this, I, you just don't do it. And I'm, this is no joke. I am saying this right now. You will lose $50 million of, of investment in this community. If you do, if this. you do this. And so but, everybody hey, out because Dave Chappelle, a black man is saying uh-huh. no, thank you to low income no, no, in yes, his area. No. Yeah, no, thank you to the low income housing. Oh, wow, he must be a racist. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. He must be a racist. So are people calling him a racist? Is he a white supremacist? Like what what are people I calling him? I think he's like because- all of the above. I mean, you know, it's just it's an it's a chance for people to pile on because they were already mad at him for being like transphobic or whatever. Right. So right. this is just a new opportunity uh to uh-huh. pile on. Right. Because if it were a, a white guy, think about it. If it were a white oh. guy and if it were a Republican, he would obviously be a racist and a white supremacist. Right. Totally. If it were some some GOP or going in there, that's the first thing that they would call him. Right. Yeah. Am I wrong about that? I'm not wrong about that because it would mm. be like, oh, my God, he's right. Because this is the thing. I mean, it's the first insult. You're a racist. But so what can they call him? What can they call him other than a guy that just wants to make that area nicer? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He just wants to make it a nice area. I don't know what else to say about that. So, I mean, okay. All right. He wants to make it a There's nice There's a lot area. of hullabaloo. Do we know, do a we lot. know what the, what the, what was the vote? Do we know, did they vote on it? Did they? I, I have not heard because in the, in the little know? video that you just see the guy like sitting behind the desk going, okay. Okay. And then <laughs> I don't know what happened at the end of that. Cause I just saw okay. the little video like trending and I was like, Oh my God, look at Dave Chappelle, like just at a random neighborhood meeting. You know what it's I mean? So inter- so very interesting. All right. Well, I, I I'm very curious to see, very curious to see what the outcome is, you know, because I live in a tiny town. Um, it's really interesting because my tiny town, I'll go to city council, like the little council meetings. I say city council. It is so tiny. It's not even like a city, but they like the people here. So many people here will be like, we want to get a gas station and they won't do it. They don't want any progress here at all. Like it's like, wow. So, right. 
I mean, it's the weirdest thing. And I, and I even were like, God, it'd be so nice if we had like a gas station or something here because I have to drive so far just to get to like a gas station. It's just ridiculous. But they, there are some people who just don't, they don't want any progress. And so there's, you know, you, you fall into the category of, do you want progress? Do you not want progress? And then what kind of progress do you want? I mean, there's a lot of, yeah, it's, it's very bizarre the way things work in small towns. And then in that small town, I mean, I'm, I, you're right. Cause if they would have, if they would have low income housing, they would be stuck in a certain way of life mm -hmm. if they had that kind of housing. And then that's it. Like, it's like, that was, that's he probably wants the to way put up like a giant bar and restaurant and comedy club. Like I think really it's great to develop it. And I think that's fantastic because that would bring so much money to that town and a lot, of, and it would probably be really nice and it would, and people would move there and it'd be a cute little town. I mean, it'd be a nice little town and it would make, you know, the, the, the make the town some money. And so good mm. for him. He's like, he's making something of that town. He's trying. I, know, I think I love that. It'd be I like know. the Dave, it's like Chappelle town. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> good for him. Um, you guys, it is time for some My Pillow Talks. Don't forget, there are huge discounts right now, 60% off of the sheets from My Pillow, and these are luxurious, soft, glorious, silky sheets. You you will sleep well in them. And huge discounts on the slippers and moccasins, mattress toppers, towels, the towels. Oh my God. I don't know if we've my talked God, about the so towels great. recently. The towels. Holy cow, the towels. MyPillow.com slash chicks. Use code chicks to get yourself all the discounts on all of the things. I have one of those naked cat videos to show you. Oh my <laughs> gosh, here we go. And this naked cat, these cats gross me out. I know you guys know this already. And I'm I love sorry them. for anybody that has a naked cat, whatever, I, I like, get it. You I like, like the cat. naked cats. I like the naked cats. <laughs> well, okay. and you know what? Especially the naked cats that are legit, like like human flesh colored. Those are the ones that are yeah. <laughs> There's there's some that are darker skin that look a little more like like cats, know, like less yeah, like, like they look less they look less like demons and more like cats, <laughs> right? Yes, uh -huh. but this one is so flesh toned, like nude flesh toned, and so it grosses me out. And this cat is completely attacking a dog. Watch. Okay. <laughs> look at that sweet puppy. <laughs> look at his face. That, pup that puppy's like mm mm no. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I mean, that, that cat just like attacked it for no reason. Yeah, but you, but you know what? That dog's gonna grow, and that cat won't. So there's that to look forward to. That one day that dog's gonna be like, "I'm gonna kick your ass." You're not gonna get away with this. So just wait, just wait, flesh like colored, flesh colored demon cat. Just wait. Also, what is this? Because I need it. I need a dog that looks like this. What is it? He has human eyes. I don't. Is that a Springer Spaniel? I think that's a Springer Spaniel. It is. Yeah, I believe look, that look, is. Look at his human eyes. They are human. I think, I think they have blue eyes. I'm not. Am I mistaken about that? No, you guys? his are I'm brown. Sure his are brown. But I like, can't tell because I'm blind. Those are human eyes. I'm, you guys. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. You can correct me, but it looks like a Springer Spaniel, or is it a? I don't know. Is it, it a mix? Like, like a spaniel with a with a dachshund like or a, something? Like it's like so a, little. I don't know. It looks because it has like the markings on the bottom of like a pointer, you know? Like the I don't know. It's a beautiful dog. I love him. I love I totally love, 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 love that dog. I love all dogs. Um, also look at this prank. <laughs> he squeezed her milk carton in her face, so she's like, I'm gonna get you back. Oh, <laughs> Greatest. Oh my God, so that's so great. So and then great. also, do you remember when you were like a preteen, uh, when you would have slumber parties and do the Ouija board? <laughs> yes. You remember? Oh my God, oh my yes. God. Okay, so the <laughs> caption on yes. this reads, my daughter is upstairs playing Ouija board with her friends. Okay, so you need that context. <laughs> Look what he's right. doing. Screaming! There's kid. There's screaming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is the greatest! Oh my god, isn't that so perfect? The I love squealing, that. Squealing, the squealing. 
<laughs> in the background. Oh my God. I gotta, I gotta do that. That's so great. That is, that is something out of the, the dad playbook. I gotta use. I That's know. Fantastic. I just love it. <laughs> fantastic. Anyway, you guys, again, sometime around lunch, be looking at your various social media platforms, preferably locals. If you haven't joined us at chicks on the right dot locals dot com, make sure to join us there. And we will definitely post the link there first uh, of our interview with Andon Gray Oxtray. Do not miss it. Cash says goodbye. <laughs> he wanted to say goodbye to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Do not miss that podcast because you guys are seriously. Normally we'd be like, you know, just watch our podcast. But this one is a must see. It's an absolute must see. It really okay. is. And it, so it will be available in video and audio form. So again, if it's not something that you can watch necessarily today, but you're dying to hear it, don't forget it will also be uploaded to all podcasting platforms. So make sure you're subscribed wherever you get your podcast. You'll be able to just tuck that into your tool belt. Right there in your tool belt. <laughs> just shove it right there. Right and there. listen anytime. Take us uh -huh. on the go, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You guys bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, I almost lost my hat. You guys. I Cash is Cash is whining at me. He's so mad because Aww. I just said bring it in. And he's like, what are you doing? And you guys <laughs> have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs>